Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this Sunday. We have eight new fabrics for you today. It really feels like our last fabric release of the year. It's not though, um, but we are having a break. So December is usually pretty quiet for us. We are still open. We still have a lot of fabric here for you to buy if you would like to, but we don't release for a couple of weeks in December. So this is it until the 26th of December, so Boxing Day. Uh, we'll be back with some new fabrics on Boxing Day because I'm pretty sure Boxing Day just happens to be a Sunday this year, I think. Um, anyway, we'll be back on Boxing Day and we'll have some specials for you as well for a, a Boxing Day sale. So make sure you turn up to that one um, and this is it for just a little while but there is heaps here and we are still working and we are still processing orders for you. And it won't take long, we're, we've got staff here every day going through the orders. Another thing we've got coming up, and it's not set just yet, so keep an eye out for it. We have teamed up with Perth Sewing Centre, who are a relatively new business here in Perth, uh, but the owner has years and years and years of experience in the industry. Um, so Perth Sewing Centre, um, sewing machine shop, cover stitches, overlockers, all sorts of other stuff that I don't really know anything about, you know, embroidery machines and all that sort of thing, quilting and that sort of stuff. I'm all about the garments. Um, but they sell a lot of machines and they have a lot of other things there as well. So we have teamed up with them and they have a promotion running where, um, you know, if you buy a certain machine, then you can receive a Lush Fabrics voucher. Uh, with your purchase. So keep an eye out for that. If you're looking for a machine, I highly, highly recommend them. It doesn't just have to be for Perth people. They will ship um, interstate as well, no problems whatsoever. The machines are all beautifully packed up already so they can ship those off for you. So do keep an eye out. There's some amazing experience from the staff in the shop um, and they're really, really lovely people to work with. So keep that in mind. Keep, in, keep an eye out in um, our Facebook group and our webpage and all that sort of thing to see when that promotion comes out. Okay, the fabric. Let's look at the fabric. I'm rabbiting on here. This first one is super, super pretty. It's called Opal Magic and it is a DTY. How pretty is that? The colours in it are just gorgeous. Really, really pretty for the right skin tone. So DTY is just a poly knit. So it is quite smooth, a little bit slinky on the outside, nice and cool to the touch, has amazing drape. DTY is basically a brush poly that hasn't been brushed yet. So it has some very similar characteristics to that. Not all, um, but a lot of them. So it'll be great in a lovely drapey garment. It'll be great in a fitted or tight garment or a combination of the both. It will work really well. Beautiful dresses, pants. My favourite pairs of pants is made out of DTY, so it's really nice for summer. Tops, kimonos, shorts, you name it. Lots that you can do. So I've matched it up with thread number 1000. And... We put it with ballet pink rayon modal with a few this one so bear with me strawberry shortcake cotton spandex ivory double brush poly bright light blue cotton spandex it's really pretty really brings out those blues in there uh, i don't have a card for this one so we've got the whole piece of fabric this is berry crush Rayon modal, isn't that so pretty? And do you notice that, so now I've got the pink up, it's the pink flowers in the print that really stands out. But when I've got the blue, oh hang on, the next one's a blue. This one is blue aqua. The blue really pops, the blue in the print. So whichever is more of your colour, or whichever is more of your preference, if you go with that coordinate, that's what's really going to pop out of that fabric. That's it, that's all of them. Opal Magic. DTY. Very, very pretty, this one. Okay. A woven. This one is a rayon shelly. Perfect for the new Pattern Emporium patterns that have just come out. If I can open it up, that is. There we go. 
Look at that. Beautiful grey animal print. I love animal print and I love grey, so this one's right up my alley. Uh, it actually looks just very black and white there, doesn't it? Let me move it closer so you can see there are some grades in there as well. But it is quite monochrome, so that means it's really great in that you can mix so many other colours with it. it. Makes it really, really easy to coordinate. This one is called King Cheetah. Uh, so it's 100% rayon, and these are about 130 centimetres wide. I'm going to say it's a bit more than that because... My wingspan is more than 130 centimetres. It's about 160-ish. So I think it's probably a little bit more, but we'll say 130 just to be on the safe side. There's no stretch because it is woven, but it has really lovely drape, really lovely feel to it, beautiful to wear. It's really breathable and it's light, it's drapey. It's really gorgeous for summer. Okay, so I just put black thread with this one. I mean, you could always go for a white, I guess, but I think the white would stand out more. I think the black would blend in a little bit better. So this one looks nice with the grey double brush poly and any of the whites. And obviously it's going to look great with black. We don't photograph with black because it's a bit of a, a given. It's going to look nice. And any other colour it would look so good with because it's a real monochrome colour palette. So King Cheetah. Rayon Shelley. Next is what I am wearing, which is coming off a bit lighter in colour than it actually is. It is a deeper red. It's looking, it's looking kind of dark coralish to me on the screen at the moment, but it is a lovely true red. I did a pattern mash, which I'm quite proud of because I don't usually pattern mash, but I do love the top, like the neck and the sleeves of the Entice Me dress by Pattern Emporium. Um, I'm kind of at that age where I think I probably need to cover up a little bit more. There's some deepish lines on my chest here, so probably a little bit of sun damage going on. Perhaps too late to cover up, but we'll give it a go. Um, so I've mashed the Entice Me with the Every Me tank. Let me show you. Get up on my little stool. So it's the shape and the style that I like at the top, and then it's this easy, relaxed fit down the bottom, like a really casual, nice summer dress to wear on a hot day. And this fabric, it is the, um, it's called Red Broken Stripes Jersey. So we've got this in mint and in a pink. It's 64% rayon, 17 poly, 15 cotton and 4 spandex, 170 GSM. Beautiful for summer, really, really nice. And although it's got some rayon in it, quite a bit of rayon, I don't feel as though it's going to pull out too much. Like rayon can really grow and get out of shape. I haven't used any clear elastic and this is the same size on me now as it was when I put it on hours ago. So let me show you. You can see from the dress that the drape is really nice. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of body. It's not really sticking out on me. It's just kind of dropping where I want it to, which is nice. So it's got good stretch, and I know this is coming up a little bit see-through here, but I think you can see from my dress that it's not. I hope you can see from my dress that it's not. Okay, it's got some vertical stretch as well. This is quite a long piece, but it's got the drape. Very pretty. I'm going to get rid of that now because I can just use my dress. So 2054 is the colour that I put it with. These, the fabric and the thread are really beautiful, much deeper reds than is showing up at the moment. So check out the website and see if that gives a better, should give a much better idea of the colour. So tangerine, double brush poly, is an option to put with it. Red ponty. Cupid, round modal. So these little stripes that are in here, hang on, I'm going to get that sheet back. Here's the fabric again, there we go. So there's a, a black stripe, a really pale coloured stripe with a little bit of grey in there. So obviously black's going to look really nice with it. Red looks, uh, sorry, grey looks quite nice with red. So there are other colours you can put with it, not just the reds. So red broken stripes jersey. Now I have a ribbed knit for you. I love a ribbed knit. 
There's quite a few fabrics today that I actually wanted to sew up. And this was one of the other ones that I really wanted to sew up, but there's only so much time in the world. So rib knit, 180 GSM, 96 poly, 4% spandex. Beautiful and soft and gorgeous to wear. Let me show you the ribs. They're quite thin, the ribs. And the back of the fabric has no print on it, no colour on it. So it's got nice stretch, rib knit, both ways. Beautiful drape. So I have a dress and a little tank top out of rib knit and I really, really love them both. They are so nice to wear. They're just, they're comfortable, they're not hot. They're just, they're, they tick a lot of boxes for me, the rib knit. So this one obviously goes with thread number 4000 because it's a beautiful black background and white is what we put it with. But again, it's monochrome, it's black and white, so it's going to go with a whole heap of colours for you. So that is Shooting Star in black. Really cute. Okay, now I have a couple of brushed polys to show you. This print you've seen before. So this is camo, this time in neon orange. I've had neon green and neon pink, I think. Now we have neon orange. And again, the orange is still neon, but it is a deeper colour than it's showing up today. So Brush Poly is amazingly soft. It has such great stretch. It has really great recovery on its stretch. So you can make a fitted garment and it'll still be fitted at the end of the day. Beautiful drape. Amazing just for so many different garment types. So as long as your, the pattern that you wanted to sew up fits with the stretch requirements of this fabric, you're good to go. Because there is just so much that you can do with it. So many different garments that you can make with Brush Poly. Which is why it's one of my favourites, because there are just so many options of what to do with it and what to create. So I don't have a thread that matches this one, but we did put it with the olive green 250 GSM modal, if you wanted a coordinate. Camo in neon orange. It's very cool. My boys would love this one. I haven't shown them yet. Okay. I think you're all going to love this one. This is another one that I really wanted to sew up. Double brush poly again. It's called Berry Bliss. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? The colours are just gorgeous. It's a really nice tie dye, and being tie dye, um, it's tie dye on the wrong side as well. And that's really good to know. If you wanted to make, say, a kimono, like a nice summer kimono with it, that's a garment that you're going to see the inside of the fabric. So it's good to know what's on the other side or a high-low hem or something like that. Um, if you're going to make something like that, this fabric is amazing because it doesn't have that white background that Brush Poly usually does. So great stretch both ways. Beautiful drape. This one... I just put it with thread number 4000 because I thought there is quite a lot of that deeper colour in here. So this is probably one that you could use and I'm sure you've got a black at home already. Okay, this one goes with Oxblood. Uh, double brush poly, isn't it an awful name, Oxblood? We just went with the supplier's name. We were out of imagination that day, I think. Sometimes it gets a bit hard trying to find a new name. This is Gunmetal Grey. Sorry, I've lost where I'm on my list. Gunmetal Grey Rayon Modal, which is really nice. Eggplant, double brush poly. There are some purples in here. And Maroon, 200 GSM Modal. And this is Dark Plum, also 200 GSM Modal. Very pretty. Nice little option. So Berry Bliss. Isn't it gorgeous? I think this one will probably go fairly quickly because it's so cute. Such nice colours. This is another one now that I wanted to sew up today. This is called Leopard Tails in black and it's another double brush poly. I did make a top out of this one actually. Couldn't resist. 
So we've had leopard tails in green or olive, one of those colours. I can't remember what we called it. So this is just a different colourway. Double brushed again. This is from my single brush poly supplier, so it's not as brushed on the wrong side, which is good to know because it's the brushing, I believe, that makes it warm. Um, so a little less brushing is a good thing, but it still feels nice and soft. So a great stretch both ways. There's your drape. I have got a matching thread. This one's easy, number 4,000. And just one coordinate, which is the top modal. It's really pretty with that. If that's your colour, I just add a top or something out of this and then maybe some palazzo pants or a nice skirt out of this one would just be beautiful. Leopard tails in black. Okay, last one. Our Lush Sunday special is a rayon spandex this week. Now don't be scared of rayon spandex. It is workable. You just have to choose what you're going to do with it. And this is super pretty. This is called Intoxicating. Look at that print. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a beautiful olive. Beautiful olive colour. This really gorgeous floral to go with it. So it's about 165 GSM, I believe. 97 spandex, uh, 97 rayon, 3% spandex. Amazing drape. So great for t-shirts, this fabric. It's beautiful to wear. It's lovely and cool and breathable. Has a really nice drape, as you can see just from here, that it drapes really, really nicely. Um, but it can get a little bit bigger on you during the day. So just take care that your garment doesn't have too much weight in it. Uh, and if it does, put some clear elastic into your horizontal seams just to give it a bit of strength. No matching thread for this one today, but I do have some coordinates. So pink gin, rail modal is one of them. Olive green modal, 250 GSM modal. Off-white, also a modal. Liquid gold modal. Get there with those darker colours in here. Uh, what else? Yellow rayon modal. And Dijon rayon modal. There's a few options there. Super pretty. Love this one. It feels really nice, even just draped over me. So that's intoxicating rayon spandex. Okay, that's it. Not quite for the year, even though it does feel like it's it for the year, but there will be another one. Um, I know you guys don't like to have a Sunday without a video. I'm not sure yet if there's going to be a video for next week. We'll see how we go. There's a couple of videos that I still want to do. Um, just, you know, show you around this place and we'll talk about some particular bases and what they're good for and that sort of thing. So I do have those planned. Whether I get to one of them, I'm not sure. So my kids have finished school already um, and we are heading off down south next week for a few days for a little holiday. So we'll just see how we go time-wise. Fingers crossed. So this week we still have our usual competition, so the Facebook group, Facebook page for the Lush Fabrics gift card um, and of course the Perth Sewing Centre promotion that will be coming up soon as well. So keep your eye open for that if you are in the market for a new machine. I bought my, I bought the baby lock, the new baby lock cover stitch from them. It's amazing. And they gave me so much help with it. And I'm actually having a little bit of trouble with it at the moment, which will be me, not the machine. But they, I know that they'll help me get that sorted out as well. So they're really great to deal with. So do check that out when it comes along. Okay, that's it. I'm going now. Enjoy your Christmas if I don't see you before, but I'm sure I will get a video in before. Um, but have a safe and happy holiday period and I'll chat with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.